Okay, here we've got the word coded, and we're going to try this one out. Now, as we've seen before, when we start with a C, it's always nice, because that gives us options. We can go off in either direction. So we could go off here into C-O-D-E-D, -E or we could go off in the most simplest format would be C-O-D-E-D. -E -D. Now, as you see, the original format is actually not that bad. It's kind of neat and might be able to symbolize coded in some way if you draw it nicely. And you can actually save yourself a couple strokes there if you draw properly. And it's not that bad. But let's see what kind of fun we can have with this. So first of all, double combinations. We, As we've seen, we've got our CO, our OD. This can also be OD. You can also add the D out dash in the top if you need to make it uh, clear. But as you see, we've got OD and OH. The fact of the matter is OD is very, very common. So when it's not present, you will just assume it's an OD. Or at least that's my policy. Maybe if you switch languages, you might want to switch that policy. So next we've got DE. That's simple. Um, you could also put the E over here on the D line if you like. Uh, ED, again, just like the OD, draw a line directly through it. If you wanted to make it not ambiguous, you could put it there, 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 there. You, you could add your line anywhere you like to make it clear that it's a D. But again, not necessary for D in, in English anyways. So let's give those a shot. First, let's put them together. C O C O D O C O D E D, sorry. Coded. Not bad. Coded. Uh what else could we do? Well we could put them all into side inside each other, so we could go C O D E D. Or we could go C O D E D. That's also coded. That's starting to look kind of neat. I'm going to have to switch pens here. It's dying on me. I'm kind of liking that version. Um, so let's see what we got here. And then we could also go off onto the side one there. C-O-D-E-D. -E -D. Coded. That one I'm actually quite fond of if we draw that properly. Um, is there anything else that I missed while we're here? Not that I can see that's important. I'm, I'm very fond of this one. So let's try to draw it nicely. No, that O is going to have to be bigger. Coded. That's actually one of my new favorite ways to draw coded. I've never tried that version yet. So, as you can see, Descript, the permutations are just amazing. I have barely touched the surface of all the possibilities that, uh, that are laid out with these combinations. So. Now, if we want to draw it into a nice square shape and occupy the space evenly, um, our best bet might be to go C, O, D, E, D. And again, if we try that once more, coded. There, that's a nice square-like shape. Works good alongside Chinese characters like so.